He was humble. He was always looking out for the other person. He is Captain Ricky McCurley with the New Orleans Fire Department. Captain Joseph Fincher was his best friend. But he's probably one of the most intelligent guys I've ever met. He was hilarious, and everybody loved him. Then, in 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit with a vengeance, causing a levee failure that flooded parts of New Orleans. McCurley documented the experience. They were out there for about six days, sun up to sundown, uh, you know, making, making rescues. McCurley led a team of 30 into East New Orleans, plucking people from attics, rooftops, nursing homes. Take your time. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, thank you. In all, the department rescued as many as 18 to 19,000 people. Ricky and his crew, they were ordered out earlier, but they refused the order because they recognized that more people needed to come out. Carrie Black, who wrote a book about Katrina heroes, says it was typical of McCurley. And not only was he featured in the book, it's actually dedicated to him and the department. I wish I would have met Ricky McCurley because him and I would have been friends. <laughs> But tragically, McCurley's life was cut short. Two months after Katrina, they were responding to a, uh, a gas line. His ladder truck um, rolled one and a quarter time trying to avoid an 18-wheeler carrying hurricane debris. Ricky was pinned under the apparatus, and the last thing he did was reach for his radio and call for help for his men. Also known as a dedicated family man, Captain McCurley left behind a wife and a young son. I'm really proud to have worked with all those guys, and in, in particular, Ricky. And although he lost his life, he still lives on in the thousands of people he helped save.